January the 15th, 2014. Playing with some bees here. <clears throat> Show y'all something. I think all these hives are still kicking. All 17 of them. I've got it on my mind before I forget it. Show y'all some dead nettle over here. Getting ready to start blooming. So what I've been playing with the last couple days is going around to each one of them, testing them to see if they are gentle. If they are, I'll use them for breeding stock at some point this year. I already had two picked out from last year. One was Strachan's. I got three queens from Strachan. One of them turned out to be nice and gentle. The other two I ended up killing. That is dead metal. Let's see if I can keep having to get a macro of that. That's the stuff. That's getting ready to get fired up good. Pollen on that is bright, bright red. Just so. Yeah, it's as red as that basket is orange right there. Anyway, this is what I was toying with. I know this one on this end is gentle. The one right there. The one on that end is so mean that I wouldn't be able to mess with the first three. You know, those two purple ones and then the white one without it messing with me. So, I'm going to kind of hold off on them until later. I just reached down to the entrance about like I'm going to do to this one. To that one yesterday. And one flew out the entrance, came back, started popping me in the back of the head, and then I walked real slow right around to the back side of that hive stand right there and she left me alone so I can't have that garbage a lot of people would consider that angelic compared to what some bees are some bees you wouldn't be this close to this uh, this set of hive stands but once I found out I could uh, I could raise gentle bees. Well, I refuse to put up with anything other than that. Yeah, so what I've been doing, I like this one. Now that I got them on camera, they might change up and start stinging the fool out of me. January now. They're sitting in the middle of a honey flow when they're supposed to be gentle. This is January. That's what I'm looking for. That genetic line right there, you could have you could have kids playing in the yard, running back and forth in front of them. 
your dog and cat climbing all over the hive. Yeah, see? Nothing to worry about at all there. See if we still got video running. These are supposed to be mean in January. You know what? Let's see. Let me pick this thing up a minute. The one right there yesterday was nice. Actually, this whole row was. Back in December, I was standing about right in here somewhere and got stung in the back of the head. I don't know why. Might have been one of the middle ones or what. The wind was blowing that day. She might have just got hung up and... I don't know. The thing is, sometimes when they fall up against you, if they get if they get kind of off balance or something, and they essentially hang their stinger in you rather than really attempt to, you know, get after blood with you. In other words. The only thing I don't like about a hive stand like this. If one starts attacking you, you can't hardly tell who it is. Okay, I reckon tomorrow would really let me know something if we have another warm day or so because they'll, they'll basically have it in their memory that I've been out here messing with them. Sometimes it'll be a little different the next day. See, I probably walked out of the camera angle there. What was that on the fourth one? No, y'all got to see that. Let's see what we got here. Number five. Now that the sun is back in the morning position, I will be casting a shadow on it. Nobody mad this morning. That's very nice of you. It comes a dead one out. Watch this. She's gonna probably drop it. Tug of war with it. There he goes right there. Little bitty bee dragging a big fat one out. Just fell on the ground with it. So I think.
think that whole stand right there, if I see one that's uh, nice out of all five, I um, I could use that for a grafting candidate. Nothing else drone. What y'all think? I'm gonna stop the video and then start back down here, but I can't mess with that one, I know. A couple of those in the middle of Georgia Queen's offspring, and well, they are usually rather pissy. Anyhow, all right, I'm gonna check the battery and get back at it here in a minute. All right, back again. I already know that one right there is mean. This one, see that Strachan's daughter, Black Queen, and that's a queen from Strachan Apiaries. That's the mama and that's the daughter. One dragging the dead one out right there. Can't wait to see when we got drones flying. Anyway. Let's see. They don't sit out on the porch like these uh, more uh, Italian yellow colored bees do. enough bees right there to really test their, uh, their attitude. That front row, for some reason, is way more active. I know it gets just a little bit more sun on the entrances than these back two. But that, uh, see if you watch all of these, these are fine. They fly at different times of the day, but these right here, That whole row just does better. Let's see if Strachan's mama is nice. Oh, Strachan's is nice. Mama to that daughter right there. Some of these bees are yellow with them because I'm mixing them. I have to wait until a warmer day. That's the way I've started testing for the attitude, though. That's part of it. Sometimes they'll be nice to entrance in the open hive and they'll eat you for breakfast, but that's generally not the case. Here's one that I selected last fall for a potential um, potential breeder. I don't know. Second one in. That 
particular box right there, interesting trait with those bees, they would allow wax moths to be in the hive. Uh, heavy population of bees, but uh, for some reason they would allow wax moths. And I think hive beetles are the same same type of thing. It's uh, it's a genetic tendency to allow that. That's the reason why some hives have more than others when they're on the same stand or in the same yard. Can't prove it. See that? I may back out on that one. Yeah, I might just back out on using that one for a breeder this year. y'all caught video uh, you yeah, know that or not I had the camera a little off I reached down to pet one on the back and uh, they kind of buzzed a little bit a few of them come out chase my hand around yeah I don't like that So after seeing that behavior, I'll keep an eye on them for pretty heavy. That's the one I'll be pestering the most just to see if I can get any aggression out of them. If I can, I'll forget that idea. But these have got to get more active before I can get a, a decent... Um, a decent idea on how nice they're gonna be really memory card got full. Anyway, just thought I'd nag y'all with a little boring clip of playing with the bees in January. Something I was wanting to do the other day, but I figured I'd wait until later on in the month. Still looks like everybody's doing okay. Some are a little slower than others. Time will tell. See, I did think to show y'all the dead nettle over there. January the 15th. If 
you look right down in there, you might be able to see it. Yeah, there you go. That's that goldenrod from Currahee Mountain, Toccoa, Georgia. I think a few of them lived anyway. We'll see them later. All right, y'all. 